हेलो गाइस टुडे वी हैव अ न्यू टॉपिक एंड द नेम ऑफ आवर टॉपिक इज फ्री एनर्जी ऑफ मिक्सिंग ऑफ डिफरेंट गैसेस सो इन दिस टॉपिक वी विल लर्न हाउ टू हाउ टू डिटरमाइन द फ्री एनर्जी हाउ टू रिलेट द फ्री एनर्जी विद द मोल फ्रैक्शन टेंपरेचर एंड द गैस कांस्टेंट एंड इन दिस फार्मूला वी कैन वी कैन आल्सो प्लॉट अ ग्राफ रिलेटेड टू द फ्री एनर्जी ऑफ मिक्सिंग एंड द मोल फ्रैक्शन सो हियर फर्स्टली वी हैव टू लर्न व्हाट व्हाट्स द कांसेप्ट ऑफ मिक्सिंग ऑफ अ गैस when when we consider lots of gases and they have a n number of moles like n1 n2 and n3 when they are mixed together when they mix together and uh, one sh- one thing should be remembered here that all the gases should have same temperature and pressure when all the gases should have t- same temperature and pressure and when they are mixed having a different number of moles then finally we will get what uh, the a mixture of a gas and this mixture of a gas contains same temperature and pressure so here the tum- mixture is also uh, also have a same temperature and pressure but the number of moles is the sum of all the number of moles of the previous gases so because the n- volume will change so the number of moles will also change so in this way the the gas will all the gases will, will mix together to form a mixture as with the help of this mixture we can easily calculate the free energy of mixing of gas so let's start so we have a formula what delta g mix is equals to rt sigma i1 k ni ln xi this formula relates to what free energy free energy of mixing of n and i moles of gases so this formula relates to free energy of mixing of n i moles of gases means n moles of gases of different uh, of different gases if you talk about the if you talk about the uh, free energy of mixing per mole so this formula will change into what delta g mix equal to multiply this equation here in the right hand side with the n and divide it also with the n so we will get what nrt sigma i2 k 1 to k ni upon n ln xi so this is the whole formula in this formula the ni upon n is equal to xi because it talks about what it talks about it talks about the mole fraction of i th molecules means all the gases so this relate to the mole fraction of gases so with the help of this formula the new formula will generate into what sigma i 1 to k xi ln xi so this is the formula of delta g mixing what per mole so with the help of this formula we can easily calculate the free energy of mixing per mole of a gases and this formula is used in the examination to calculate the free energy of mixing per mole of gases now move to the next topic we have a formula delta g mix per mole equal to nrt sigma i1 to k is the summation sigma is the summation xi ln xi this is the formula for the free energy of mixing of a gas per mole if you consider the binary mixture what if you consider the binary binary mixture for binary mixture we have a two mole fractions mixture let 
the mole fractions be x1 and x2 hmm? yeah one thing should be remembered here that what the value of xi is always less than 1 what always less than 1 it means what the summation of all the xi is also less than 1 it means delta g mix is less than 1 it means delta g mix is negative or if, if the delta G mix is negative, the process is spontaneous or feasible. So, the mixing of a gas is a spontaneous process. So, if here, let x1 is equal to s. So, the sum of what? Means xi is less than 1 and the summation of all the mole fraction is equal to 1. Means if you talk about x1 plus x2 plus x3 plus dot 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 equal to 1 and here we have considered what we have considered the binary solution so if you let x1 is equal to s so x2 will convert into 1 minus x so the new formula will convert into delta g mix is equal to nrt for the binary solution x1 ln x1 plus x2 ln x2 so here if you put the value of x1 and x2 nrt x ln x plus 1 minus x ln 1 minus x so this is this formula is relates to the word binary solution if you divide this value to the numerator of what to delta G mix means put it here ln x plus 1 minus x ln 1 minus f so this with the help of this equation we can easily plot the curve relate to what if you want if, if you want to draw the curve relates to delta g mix upon nrt with number of moles mole fraction sorry x as you know very well the delta g mix is always less than 1 so the final value start from from 0 here means all these values are negative like minus 0.2 if you consider minus 0.4 and in the same manner all these value so the curve will look like this this and this curve is symmetrical about the two axes and if you talk about this point at this point if you consider it the value of x 0 to 1 so this point co correlates to what x is equal to 1 by 2 means at the value of mole fraction x is equal to 1 by 2 means 0 0.5 the value of delta g upon nrt is always minimum so this point will also will also be asked in the exam that at the minimum point the value of x is 1 by 2 for the binary solution so so guys uh, here we have learned about the word delta g mix and the plot related to the delta g mix with the help of these relation we can easily determine we can easily calculate the numerical related to the examination so guys this is all about today's lecture if you got this lecture please like subscribe and share my channel okay guys thank you